talking about the overall uh, my impression about the IMA um, monitoring and evaluation for results program for so that that you know is taking place in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, I would say that the course has been very beneficial um, and it's very relevant to the to the kind of work that I do back home. Um, when when you know I looked at the course you know um, content before the the course actually commenced, you know I saw a lot of practical programs um, in the course. You know um, that kind of would. Would, would crystallize um, the, the theoretical concepts that we will learn in the classroom, you know. Um, but really, when we got to the field and then we hit the ground, um, then the, the, the things just be began to fall in place. Um, I, you know, the first week we were in the classroom, you know, doing a lot of, you know, concepts, a lot of, um, group-based work, you know. Um, then the second week, um, we had an opportunity to visit uh, some communities, you know, within Cape Town. And that social program was, was just, you know, something else for me. Um, I, I kind of, you know, got the appreciation of monitoring and evaluation at the grassroots level. Um, during the classroom uh, engagements, um, it was actually mentioned to us that, um, <clears throat> I mean, when you start interviewing people, you know, some particular trend begins to emerge, you know, over time. And then you can then identify what the burning issues are. And really, you know, we, you know, my group, I was in a group of three people um, that interviewed um, three households. By the time we finished the first household and got to the second household, we already understood the burning issues within the community. You know, it just came out very clearly. And, you know, what we did in the community was more like um, the cognitive mapping um, exercise that we studied in the classroom. And, you know, it's more like, okay, just get into the field, not you know, a very structured formal interview, but just engagement, having a discussion about issues, you know, and then you are able to tease out so much um, information from the community members. And, you know, and also because it's not a structured interview, they feel they felt very free to talk, you know, and then discuss issues. And then, you know, they were very open. Um, we had, um, somebody from the community who was helping with the interpretation and then um, you know he also make, made it very comfortable for the interviewees you know to actually um, you know you know engage freely with us the good thing and the difference between cognitive mapping and other you know data um, you know gathering methodologies is that the cognitive mapping gives like a rounded approach of that information gathering because after we conducted the interviews we we mapped it you know on a piece of paper with just you know um, drawings and also um, you know with just drawings and piece you know pieces of you know um, information dotted around and showing showing you know the linkages between the the various you know um, outcomes and outputs you know of the discussions that we're having um, and this was very revealing because when you finish the interview um, what the cognitive mapping methodology encourages us to do is to go through the interview re record with the interviewee so you know and when I finished mine, it didn't take long for the interviewee to say, to, you know, just draw my attention that, oh, she said this, but it doesn't capture it. And for me, it made so much difference to me. You know, I've done some questionnaires, I've done some, you know, uh, interviews, but it doesn't give you that kind of direct feedback from the interviewees. And this was a very good thing for me. And um, 
you know, it was also very refreshing, you know, to after having gathered all the information and then interacted with these community members, understanding their issues. It was very refreshing for me to, you know, hear that IMA don't just, you know, undertake this exercise and then, you know, for academic purposes. You know, there's some effort that guarantees some follow-ups and also, you know, feeding back with certain recommendations and certain support systems, you know, to actually make a difference in these communities. And that was very refreshing for me. So overall, um, I mean, the, 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 the social aspect of the, the program just kind of puts the icing on the cake for the entire m and &E program that IMA conducts. Yeah. Thank you, still. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.